Ben Stewart and Job Badger. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies, and we love using markers. We say it a lot, but that's because it, we don't spend any time erasing. Yeah. But if you want, you can use a pencil, you can practice drawing, and then if you want to, you could go back over it with a marker. Yeah. They also need some paper and someone to color with. Yeah. All right, let's start. We're first going to draw the nose for our badger. We're going to draw a little U shape in the middle of our paper. I kind of drew it off to the left, but that's okay. Right, right about here. There you go. And then we're going to draw the top of our badger's nose. We're going to draw an oval shape right in the top of the nose. Then let's color in the rest of the nose, but leave that little highlight white. That makes our nose look shiny. Now let's draw our badger's eyes. We're going to draw a circle right here and a circle over here the same size. Good job. Let's add more ovals in each of the eyes. One in each eye in the top left or a circle. Yeah, that looks cool too. Then let's color in the big circle but leave that little oval white. This makes the eyes look shiny just like the nose. That part we sped up, but if you need extra time, remember you can always... Pause the video. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw the shape of our badger's head. We're going to draw a little curve that comes underneath the nose and then back up on the other side. Just <laughs> <laughs> a smile. Yeah. It does look like a big smile, huh? Now we're going to draw the cheek. We're going to come out like this and then we're going to come up higher. Go ahead and do that side, and then we'll do the other side too. So come out for little chubby cheeks. There you go. <laughs> now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We'll come out for the chubby cheeks and then back in. <laughs> okay, now up here, we're going to draw the top of our badger's head. We're going to draw a circle that comes, or not a circle, we're going to kind of turn it into a circle, but we're going to draw a rainbow line that connects the left side left cheek over to the right cheek. Yeah, you could start there too if you want. Sometimes that's easier to start here because then you can see where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. It's also like a half circle. A half circle, you're right. Okay, now let's draw the ear. We're going to draw an upside down U right here. And we'll draw the same upside down U over here. Now badgers have really cool designs on their face. So let's draw a line that comes down and connects to their eye. And I'm going to do the same thing, the inside of their eye. Comes down, connects, and then let's do the same thing over here on this side. Then let's draw the outside of the stripe. We're going to draw a curve that comes up. Then we're going to do the same thing over here on the side. Let's draw the inside of their ear. We're going to draw another U shape inside, just like that, but smaller. There you go. And then on the other side, too. We did it. We drew their head. Now let's draw their body. We're going to draw a little curve that comes down on each side. There you go. And then another one. Then let's draw their arms. We're going to start here, really close to their chin. And we're going to draw a curve that comes down. And then look, we're going to draw the same curve on the other side. It almost looks like it's going to be the letter V, but leave a little space at the bottom. There you go. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, now let's curve around and we're going to draw the rest of their, their front legs or arms. We're going to curve around like that and almost touch the line over here on the left. So come down, curve around, and back up. <laughs> You're doing such an awesome job. We're going to do the same thing over here, and we want to try to make both of these U shapes look the same size. Whoa, yeah, you did it. Now let's give them little, little fingers. So I'm going to draw two little lines on the end of their arm. And we're going to draw him sitting down, or her sitting down. Let's draw their back legs, but we're going to draw them sticking up. So we're going to, st we're going to start here, come up, and connect to the side of their body, curve around, and then back into their <laughs> into their front leg or front arm. So curve up, around, 
You're doing it. It's kind of tricky, but you're doing a great job. And <laughs> now we're gonna do that same thing over here. So this line on this side is a little higher. So I'm gonna draw it coming down. This is gonna make it a little easier. Yours is in a perfect spot. We're gonna start here. And we're gonna draw that curve that comes around, touches, draw the foot and then connect back into the arm. Well, this one turned out bigger. That's okay. <laughs> we're practicing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Curve around and then connect back. And then we can draw the bottom of their body. We'll connect in between here and you could draw it right there too. Yeah, let's draw the bottom of their feet. We're gonna draw a little oval shape on this side and another oval shape on this side. Also, we're almost done, except we're missing one thing. The tail. Yeah, we're missing the tail. Let's just draw a short little tail coming out to the side. And then we're gonna draw a zigzag line that connects back into the foot. We did it awesome, we finished drawing our badger. Now it's time to color it. Yes it is. Let's fast forward one more time, but at the end you can pause the video if you wanna match our same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Also, give me five. We did it, we finished coloring our badgers. Your drawing turned out perfect. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers and color pencil. Yeah, we used our pink color pencil for the rosy cheeks and also the feet. And we only use two grays. If you have the same set that we have, we use uh, biannual markers. We use our WG03, it's this warm light gray, and WG07 for the darker parts. What else could our art friends add to this drawing? A background. Yes, of course. The background would make your drawing complete. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your badger. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.